welcome the commissioner of the NBA, Mr. David Stern, as he is accompanied by the Lakers executive vice president of business operations, Jeannie Buss. So many people to congratulate, but let me start with the great fans of Los Angeles. Congratulations on your champion Lakers. To the Lakers front office, Mitch Kupchak and his entire staff. To Phil Jackson with his 11th championship. To Kobe Bryant, two-time MVP, and Kobe and Derek, five rings. To all of the Laker players, but particularly to Dr. Jerry Buss, Jeannie, and the Buss family. They've owned the club now for 31 years and 16 times they've been in the NBA Finals. Congratulations to everybody here, but particularly to the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers. Jeannie, let's give out the rings. Introducing our Lakers training staff and assistant coaches with their NBA championship ring. Marco Yuria Bordi, massage therapist. Alex McKechnie, athletic performance coordinator. Marco Nunez, assistant athletic trainer. Chip Schaefer, director of athletic performance player development. Rudy Garci Duenas, equipment manager. Gary Beatty, athletic trainer. Craig Hodges, special assistant coach. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, special assistant coach. Chuck Person, assistant coach. Brian Shaw, assistant coach. Jim Clemens, assistant coach. Frank Hamblin, assistant coach. And now, please welcome to accept his championship ring, the head coach of the 2010 NBA champions, Phil Jackson. This is what we play for. And we thank you for your effort. What a great seventh game that was last June. I'd like to mention the four players that aren't with us tonight. DJ Mbinga. Josh Powell. Adam Morrison. And Jordan Farmar. We recognize them tonight as part of our team. And it's uh, my pleasure to introduce Luke Walton. It's, it's been said that Bill may be his father, but he's really my son. In fact, I think I said that. But he embodies everything about our team. Teamwork. Um, I get the, the honor of introducing uh, the next teammate. He's uh, one of the most versatile players in the entire NBA, can play every position, and he's one of the most unselfish players. Uh, sacrifices his own personal success for the, you know, the team's success. Without him, we wouldn't have these rings. My good friend, Lamar Odom. Fancy. Um, 
I usually get nervous when I have to talk in front of people, but um, tonight I feel like I'm at home. Uh, and uh, and, it, and it helps because the next person I'm about, I'm about to bring out, I've known since I was 12 years old. Um, when, when we were 12 years old, he used to, he was really quiet. And um, now he takes his clothes off on Jimmy Kimmel and he raps. But um, there's, nobody, there's nobody like him. Um, I can't say enough about him. Uh, we come from the same family tree in New York City of basketball, and uh, I just want to let him know that his family's proud of him. Um, the one and only, Ron Artest. Thanks a lot, Lamar. We played basketball with each other since we were 12 years old, and um, it's an honor to you know, get this ring with you. Thank you, and the Lakers. The um, next person I'm going to introduce, he's been a warrior throughout the whole entire season last year and the playoffs, played through injury. He was frustrated at times because he thought he probably would not have been able you know, to help the Lakers, but um, he sacrificed and he um, played his tail off you know, for the city of L.A. and all the Laker fans, Mr. Andrew Bynum. What up, what up? Next up. Next up is a guy who's known for his offensive abilities. Um, he isn't given the, given the credit he deserves, you know, for his defense, for his toughness, for his passion. Since acquiring him three years ago, we've gone to three straight NBA Finals. We've taken home two of them. He's known as the best all-around big in the game today, and I'm honored to call him a teammate. Please welcome Pau Gasol. Hello, everyone. Uh, very special night here. Next person I want to introduce, I don't know if you remember, it's 11 seconds on the shot clock, game seven in the finals. He gets fouled, knocks down two of the biggest free throws in Lakers history. I don't think no, no Laker fan will ever forget that. His intensity and determination make him a great defensive player. He's a great outside shooter. Please, everybody, welcome Mr. Sasha Vujicic. Thanks, Paul. It's great to be back at Staples Center in front of you guys. So the next person I'm going to introduce, he's a great teammate and it's not hard to describe him. When you say athleticism, he brings all of you on your feet. He brings every night great energy and he's, and he's a great, great teammate. Please welcome Shannon Brown. How y'all doing? Um, around here, this guy that I'm about to introduce is known as El Presidente, the president. Um, he's a leader on and off the court. He's made a numerous amount of huge plays, big threes, and he's just, you know, he's a man to me. And you know, um, the guy that I'm introducing right now is Derek Fisher.
Staples Center. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for all the support that you give me and this team and our coaches and everything that we do. None of this is possible without your support. So thank you. Thank you so much. Now, this next guy I'm going to bring out, I'm not sure if you guys know who he is. He doesn't do very much to help us at all. He kind of just runs up and down the court, plays a little defense every now and then, shoots up a couple shots every now and then. But some kind of way, he figures out how to will us to being the best year in and year out. And uh, his passion, his tenacity, the world's best basketball player, Mr. Kobe Bryant. Wow. This is fun. Well, I want to thank all you fans for your incredible support. It means so much to us. We couldn't have done it without you. And uh, it's amazing to see a whole city get behind, get behind this team. And uh, none of this would have been possible. None, none of this is possible without the greatest owner in the history of team sports. So I want everybody to give it up for the man. Mr. Jerry Buss, who started everything. Okay, here we go. 2010, 2011, <laughs> you already know. On the count of three, they're gonna bring something down very special here. One, two, three.